Hey what's up guys, I'm working on Floors and Synth by Juice World. Now this one just has the three chords in it, uh, but it does have a little bit of a riff that goes on with those chords, so we're going to be learning that as well today. So that main riff sounds like this. Start on that, just going to talk about the tone for a little bit. What I'm doing is just running a little bit of overdrive. So I'm actually using an overdrive pedal straight into this clean amp, this clean fender amp behind me here. Now these pickups are quite hot, uh, which means they have a lot of output power. So what I'm actually also doing is just turning down the volume just a touch, just to pull that power back a little bit. Uh, it works in a different way to sort of your volume on your amp or even the gain or volume on your pedal. So it just has a bit of a different effect and yeah, as I said, just pulled back a little of that power. So we're going to start with an A flat major chord. Now this is a bar chord, if you haven't played any bar chords before, you're not super comfortable with them, make sure to check out my bar chords video, which I'll put a link to up here, and also in the description below. So we're barring the 4th fret. Add your 3rd finger onto the 5th string in the 6th fret, your 4th finger onto the 4th string in the 6th fret, and then your 3rd finger on the 3rd string in the 5th fret. Now what we're going to do is actually just strum the top three strings. And then just strum the fourth and third strings. And then we move to a C minor seven chord. So this is another bar chord, but now barring the third fret. Add your third finger onto the fourth string in the fifth fret, and then your second finger onto the second string in the fourth fret. Now this time we're just strumming the fifth, fourth, and third strings together. And we do one long strum, one short strum. Then we do one more strum and actually hammer on that fourth finger onto the third string in the fifth fret, and that just makes it a regular C minor chord. And then one more strum. And then we do that again. Then we go to the F minor chord, which is another bar chord, this time bar in the 1st fret. So bar in that 1st fret and your 3rd finger up to the 5th string in the 3rd fret, and then your 4th finger on the 4th string in the 3rd fret. Now what we're actually doing is just strumming the top 3 strings. So in theory you don't even need to bar that 1st fret, it just helps in case you accidentally strum too many notes. Uh, it means that you'll still be playing the right chord and you won't come with something super ugly or anything like that. So that's an F minor chord, or since we're only strumming the top three strings, we'll call it an F power chord, uh, or an F5. And what we're going to do is move from that back to the A flat chord and keep the same rhythm. So again, that whole way through. last three chords, so the F minor and the A flat major, we do have this lead octave part as well. And that only goes on some of the time, so listen to the song to kind of figure out where that comes in. But it's generally after that main riff. And so that sounds like this. So following the same rhythm, and as I said, we're just playing octaves. So to start off, pop your first finger on the fourth string in the fifth fret, and then your fourth finger up on the second string in the eighth fret. And what I'm doing here is strumming the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings, but actually muting that 3rd string. So just touching it lightly with my 1st finger. That way when you strum all 3 of them, you don't actually hear that note at all. So strum that twice, just move that whole thing up a fret. So your 1st finger on the 6th fret of the 4th string, and then your 4th finger on the ninth fret on the 2nd string. twice and then one more time and on that third time slide up another two frets. So now your first finger is still on the fourth string and then up the eighth fret and your fourth finger on the second string at the eleventh fret. And just one more strum after that slide. So that's our main riff and the lead part that goes over that main riff as well. Now there's one more guitar part that still follows the same chord progression, but just without the riff, I suppose. So our other part will sound like this. So now we're doing exactly the 
sustained chords with just doing power chords. So for the A flat, just pop your first finger up on the 6th string in the 4th fret, 3rd finger up on the 5th string in the 6th fret, and then your 4th finger on the 4th string in the 6th fret. And just play those top 3 strings. For your C minor, your first finger goes on that 5th string in the 3rd fret, your 3rd finger on the 4th string in the 5th fret, and then your 4th finger on the 3rd string in the 5th fret. We're just following the same rhythms here, but just with the power chords rather than the full chords. Now our F minor was already a power chord, so do that the same, and then back to the A flat, also as a power chord again. Now that's all of the guitar parts in this song, but where do those fit in? So we're going to start with the main riff. And that pretty much goes through the first verse as well. Then what happens is you'll notice the drums drop out. And that's generally where that main riff comes in for the rest of the song. Is where the drums drop out. It gets, it's kind of a, a lower part where the guitars really, uh, really stand out a lot more. After that, when the drums come back in, that's generally when we just go to the power chord section. Uh, until the next part where the drums drop out again and we go back into the riff. Now that's a general rule of thumb. It does change around in there a little bit. So I really recommend have a listen to the song and figure out where to play those different parts. And there we go guys, that's Flaws and Sins by Juice World. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. Pop any requests down there too and I really try to get to all of them. Make sure to like and subscribe, I've got new lessons coming out every single week and it really helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Sam, I'll see you next time.